Baba. Okay, Baba, I'm coming in there with you, okay? This is how we have to do it, okay? All right, here I am. Here I am. I'm inside with you. Come, Baba. Come, crawl on my, crawl on me. Come on, crawl on my face and step on me. It's fine. Okay. Okay, see? I'll suffer with you. Okay, it's over. It's over, sir. It's over. I'm here. You don't need to you don't need to continue with that. No. No. You don't have to continue. I'm in the I'm in the crib with you already. You don't have to continue this. You don't have to continue this. Yeah, you're embarrassing. Yes, look at yourself. Very shameful. There is no need for all those crocodile tears. You know I was right there. You know that. Look at yourself, look. How do you feel about being that, that type of person who would do something like that? Hmm? Yes, I would feel just like you, okay? Now just be grateful I'm in this crib with you. Yeah. Oh my lord. Hi you all. So um, it's a new day. I'm going to now apply for a Bop Bop's passport. The other times you saw me going to the Canadian Embassy, I was applying for his citizenship. So now I'm applying for his actual passport and hopefully I'm able to get a rush on it because I want to be able to see my family, but it's more so my dad and just, you know, with everything that's going on. He keeps getting like blood clots in his heart and stuff. So, you know, I know, blood clots. So I'm gonna go uh, look at him, you know, just in case, you know, anything can happen. Yeah, look, Baba, look at this. You wanna see this? Yeah, wow, it's so cool. Look, Baba, one's on your head, one's on your head. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah, so, um. I mean, the real point of this crib, I didn't really think that he'd want to be here anyway, but the point is I can also be in here, like, and just lie down in here. Oh my God, I'm like a spider. Sometimes I um bring my laptop inside the crib and, you know, try to do my work so he just doesn't feel as lonely or whatever. Oh boy, oh, so tired though. So we are here. I am feeling still so tired in general, you know what I mean? My arthritis is not as bad at all lately, so I'm not sure why that is, but that's great news. Um, oh my God, I'm here lying down like I'm chilling for the day. I'm gonna be leaving in like 20 minutes to head to um, my appointment at the embassy. I have to stop off and make a few copies first. Yesterday, my friend Hilly signed as a guarantor on the passport or on the application. Yeah, so I gotta go do that. Well, let me call you guys. Let me call you guys back another time or something. I mean, let me get back with y'all. <laughs> okay, I love you, bye. Okay, say bye, guys. Say bye, Papa. Bye, bye. Oh, no. Oh no. Yeah. 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 What happened? Yeah. You being a good boy? You being a good boy? Yeah, good boy. Hey, let me let me see this one. Uh oh. Hi you all, so I'm on my way to um, do some photocopies, Naomi's coming with me, hey girl, thanks Saz for everything, I'm about to get one of these coconuts though, I just wanted to show you, so sometimes these coconut people, they actually put coconuts, why not let me know, they put coconut, hey, hey, <laughs> they put coconut in a um, 20, thanks, they put coconut in a um, bottle already, already cool and whatever, so you can just guzzle it. So I always like to get one of these. Breakfast of champions, baby. I'm gonna put some in the baby's bottle. I think he'll really enjoy coconut water. 
Yeah. 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 Once I gave him coconut water and he was like, What the hell? He did that actual what the hell face. <laughs> So I just put some in his bottle and see if he likes it. Okay, Baba. You can have your... You like that? I don't think he can tell the difference. No, he's used to it. He's tasted it before, so I'm sure he's not confused. So right now I'm at this printing shop. Oh my god, I look like such a Caribbean mom with this like headdress. So we're at the um, printing shop because I'm making some copies before I head to the thing. Why am I doing it last minute? Like, I don't know. It's really bad of me. Hi. Um, I'm, where am I going? Oh, okay. I'll be on the roadside. You'll see me. I'll be on the sidewalk. Okay, so just go slow. Okay, I'm coming. I'm, I'm coming now. Okay, bye bye. Look, you need to just stand on the road so we can just pick you up. Okay, what color is the car? Um, the color is silver. So go ahead. He's turning up. He's turning. Go, go, go. Yeah, silver. Okay. Bye, honey. Thanks for all your help. Okay, let's be RV. Yes. So I'm done now. On my way to um. The actual embassy. Nomi's gone home to study before her tutor comes to the house. Yeah. So, um. No. Oh, thank you. So I'm being offered a million and one things here. You see how it is, y'all? People are walking with things on their head. No, thank you. No, thank you. You have to be really strong, you know? <laughs> Sometimes I just give them, you know, little five CDs and stuff like that. Even though I'm not going to buy anything. Uh, you know, it's hard out here in these streets. Literally. <laughs> and hot. Yeah, so, um, on our way to the embassy, guys, yay. Oh, and I'm also going to see, um, a few friends later on. Yeah. I also want us to order, um, the Uber Comfort, but for some reason, it's no longer on my app. When I open the app, it's not an option, so I'm not sure what that's about. I'm not sure. Thus, we are hot. Bop Bop is sleeping. He's not sweating too much. So we're finished at the embassy. I'm one step closer to realizing my dream of going to Canada. So um, I am now at Kempinski. I do not know where my friend is in the building. Kind of feel like I gotta look around for her. So this is like, um, there's a really nice hotel attached to this building. So this is the mall, I guess, if you wanna say the mall. Um, this is Miss Atkinson, Versace, I'm not sure the name of this place, Chocolate, yeah, I mean, I'm just walking to get a little adventure in, I don't know where Hilly is, but it's fine, because I actually want to see what the mall is saying these days. Okay, this is this uh, shoe store. Okay, there she is. There she is. <laughs> but um, I don't know if I should like uh, disturb her because she's actually working. Oh my God. <laughs> working girl. Look at you. How are That's you? professional. Yeah, so cute. Okay, what about me? <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Okay, yeah, thank you. That's better. <laughs> Caught me off guard. Hi, yeah. guys. Hey, guys. Hello. Working today. Working. We're so, training um, today. When are you, like, not working? Well, lunch is supposed to be at 1, huh? What time is it? It's, like, almost that time. 
So let me hang out around. And we'll go for lunch. I'll be back now. at one. This man. Okay, bye, girl. Where do you want to sit? There's nowhere. There's nowhere for us. <laughs> nowhere. It's okay. I'll just get a little exercise. Oh, hi, my love. No, let me actually get you. Oh, Michelle, let me ask Michelle to sit in a shop. Okay. Ah. So while I'm waiting, I decided that I'll take you guys around and show you what the rest of the mall actually looks like. Bank. Dream collection, luxury car rental. Wow. Okay. Okay, I don't know what's over here. Thai food establishments. This used to be a kid's play pay, play place. Oh wow! I guess they had. Okay, says so spa. Okay, I didn't know that this was here. And then you have what used to be a kid's kind of play place, but I guess they're closed. Then you got some seemingly maybe office space back here. I'm not sure who it belongs to exactly or if it's shared office space. So here is a gallery, an art gallery. What the hell? I wonder if I'm allowed in here with cameras. So we're in the art gallery. I guess they've got this new concept going on. I believe cut the face out and put someone else's face <laughs> to make a whole face. I thought this was JC for a second. LOL. <laughs> It's actually painted, I think. I don't even think it's actual cutout. I think the cutout is an actual painting itself. Where is it cut? I can't tell. We made it! Oh, they're talking to each other. Lunchtime! <laughs> my car's so Who's old. talking to each other? Your students? Oh, my, my staff, yeah, exactly. This, it's nice. I'm actually glad they're talking to each other. Because, yeah, it's nice because they're going to bond, right? Cute. It matters because if, if people just keep closing off, then it's going to create a hostile environment. So I like the fact that people like to talk to each other and, you know, get a little more personable makes the right. space more warm, the workspace warm. So tell them what you're doing, because I didn't tell them. Okay, so um, I am a training consultant. So I train luxury training experiences in Ghana for different companies. Um, I've worked I've worked for companies like Versace, Prada, Louis Vuitton for many, many years. And um, I've trained, I've managed, so I have a lot of information and a lot of experience in this noggin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah. I like to I like to share and I think you know I, I'm a big ambassador of luxury. I like to advocate for things for you know for luxury and and so other people She gives you the pep talk all the time. <laughs> and I'm trying. I'm trying. As soon as this little boy can be 
thrown into a daycare? I'm kidding. <laughs> Not thrown. <laughs> thrown in. <laughs> yeah, so she'll be my like go to. I'll, I'll consult with her. Yes. I'll send her pictures of my outfit. Is this appropriate? <laughs> so we are here in um, Cupcake Boutique. Remember when Tommy came here and I got a cupcake, you guys? Let's relive the moment because I might get another one today. Wow. <laughs> Yummy. Yum. So you're ordering us a cinnamon roll, eh? Wow, say no to the devil. Say no, but you know what? It tastes just like cinnamon. Really? Just like cinnamon. Wow. I do not need to know that. I don't need to know that. It's, it's, it's good. I need to go on an actual clean eating streak. Here, yeah, take it for heaven's sakes. Oh, praise the Lord. Yeah. Do we really need that cinnamon though? We do. We do. So I'm gonna have a meat pie for my for the first time ever. I've never had a meat pie because I don't feel comfortable about eating them from the streets, like the streets. They're all over the streets, but I feel better about having it from an establishment. You know what I mean? You know? So this is what the meat pie looks like. Yeah, it looks meaty, looks pie. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wapa well, wants a meat pie too. All right. Brown beef. Brown beef. Brown. Brown. Okay. Similar to a patty. Similar. Different pastry. Yeah. Okay. Cool. what I got. So naughty. I know, I know, I know. Hi. Hey guys. We're home now and I've decided that oh, mama, mama. I want to perm my hair because um, it's just getting annoying. So I'm gonna do that right now. That way it'll be a lot easier for me to comb and manage. I mean, that's all I want to tell you guys. So uh, let me be RB when the process is all over and done with. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is gonna be torture. I got this Care Bears brush from Sheen, Sheen. Comment down below if you remember Care Bears. <gasps> it's kind of ironic. My hair is growing for the first time like this, like crazy in my entire life. And I do not utilize it. Like I don't, I don't use it. Like it's underneath wigs or tied up in a ponytail. Okay, well, I do put my hair in ponytails, I will say that much. But other than that, like, I don't want to, like, really wear my hair out and down and stuff like that. And I think mostly because it's obviously hot in Ghana, so it almost feels like it's just too much work. And then the sweat, the humidity, you know what I mean? Like, does it make it worth it? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. So... I don't know. I don't really know what I'm going for here, so... Yeah. I guess we'll just keep growing it. Can you believe all of this hair? Never. Never before have I had this much hair. Like going down to my, to my chest. Also, for the first time in my entire life, like, my hair actually has cut. So I'm not talking about the thinning. I'm talking about, like, this. I have never had this happen to me before. I don't think it's the wigs. Like, I don't think so. I haven't been wearing wigs, like, that much. And I've worn wigs before. That has never happened before. So I'm thinking it's because of um, postpartum, you know? That's what I'm thinking. It's crazy. Just crazy. 
Oh my gosh. Oh my god, I'm already scared. I'm done. So this is what I'm looking like. Um I feel like this whole side needs just to be permed like all over again. It's really so poofy. Like my hair is fully natural on this side. This side is really, really, not really, but I mean, it's flat, you know? So, um, gonna get dried off and I'll see you in a minute. I don't know if I asked you guys before, but my hair seems to stick together even when it's clean and I don't know what to do about that. When I used to go to my hairdresser, that never used to happen as much, but I don't have like all the right products. So comment down below, what do you guys use to stop your hair from sticking, like from matting, even when it's clean, even when you wash it properly? My hair just mats up. Someone did say I should probably trim the end, so that does sound like that would make sense. But um, yeah, so just comment down below what products do you use that don't let your hair stick and like, you know what I mean? Like mat, like this, you know what I mean? Like, how do I get this? All right, BRB. I'm done. So, um. Oh, I look like skip though. Oh, thanks, honey. Yeah, so I just twisted up my hair. I'm gonna let it oh, air dry. Wow. And then, um. <clears throat> when I'm ready to actually comb it, I'll probably blow dry it a little bit just to make it straight a little bit. Yeah. No, oh, what happened here? <sighs> Cute. Hey y'all. So, just got out the shower. Ready to go to my bed. I am. Oh my uh, god! Do you see what I just dodged? You, oh, he puked. I just dodged it. Wow. Oh. Oh, what? Wait. So use this to wipe it up. Wow. Since it's, like, it's, like a, it's like a pot. A little pool. Of no! Do it properly. Wipe it up properly. Quickly, man. The thing's soaking into my thing. Oh my Jesus. Wipe it what? up. I, I know. Up. That's what I was going to do, but you wanted to push me out of the way. Yeah. Too late, bro. I know it was, it was too late in the first place. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm sure then bop, bop. And bop, 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 bop. <laughs> so I ran out of my vitamins. I'm getting more. But I ran out and I feel it. Like I feel tired, you know? My energy is just so low and I just cannot stand it. Like, this isn't the real me, you know? I just kind of feel like once I'm not breastfeeding anymore, I'll be like my, myself again, like, you know what I mean? Because oh, breastfeeding wow. is going to have your hormones all over the place and your hormones balance just everything else in your, in your anatomy. You know what I mean? And then also you can't use a powder because same thing. You can't use what? Also you can't use a powder because it's the same thing. What's the powder? The oh, the formula. <laughs> yeah, we're not using formula, right? We're keeping it breastfed around here. Yeah, comment also, down below. Too. Exactly. So actually, um, on the topic of breastfeeding, I guess I want to ask you guys, like, did you did you guys breastfeed or did you formula feed? And if you formula fed, why did you do that? <laughs> why did you do that? I'm serious, like why? You know what I mean? I'm curious as to your responses. Stop. Stop. I kind of feel like... Get back over here and go to the <laughs> They say this thing. They say, breast is best. And then someone else says, fed is best. And then I just kind of feel like, okay, we weren't telling you not to feed your baby if... You know what I mean? If you have to survive, obviously. But um, I guess I do find it interesting when women choose not to breastfeed, when they're perfectly, you know, capable, and there's not any necessarily like barriers around physically being able to breastfeed. You know what I mean? I just find it interesting. So um, uh, yeah. 
comment down below your thoughts. Random. <laughs> anyway. Um, oh, Bob, Bob, look, he's going to the edge. God. I just like. It's like, I don't like the stage. Like, I like that. I mean, he's a baby, a little baby with no teeth or one tooth. It's just so cute right now. Then he's going to grow up and you're going to be like, oh my God, where did the time go? But I also cannot wait for him to grow up because I cannot continue to run behind him, like, you know, crawling off the bed, right? So the older he gets, the more aware he'll become. I know, but <laughs> him getting older will come with another set of problems, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But right now, the super dependent crawling baby who can't walk, not for me. Not for me. You need to learn to walk, sir. Even though you're only six months. <laughs> I'm going on seven months, as a matter of fact. Also, tomorrow I'll be meeting my girlfriend for lunch with Bop Bop. Um, she was here when I was pregnant and I surprised her. So now Bop Bop's alive and outside. So a girl that you don't know. So we're going to meet. <laughs> so we're going to have lunch tomorrow after I go to the embassy. Yeah, so I'm going to try to get some rest, you guys. So I want to call it a night for this vlog. And I'm so grateful that you guys are able to join me. And I want to see you guys next time, okay? I love you so much. Okay, bye. Hi. Mom, why are you doing that? You shouldn't talk like that. It's cringy. It's cringy? Mom, I remember. I remember it's adorable. They like it, okay? So love you guys. Good night. Okay, thank you.